make sure that you keep reading the ingredient lists on products that you normally buy. I've been finding more recently that products that I used to I used to like a lot, um, I mean not that much, but they were cheap things that I would sometimes enjoy, like Tampico and Hawaiian Punch, um, number of types of cocoa, for instance, you know, hot cocoa. Um, yeah, they are not the formula they were before. They, some of them will contain corn syrup and sucralose and or NutraSweet uh, uh, aspartame or one of the uh, XXXXX Litol, the, the Litols, any of the Litols, you know, Xylitol or any of those, you know, that give you the runs. Um, I just think any of the artificial sweeteners are kind of bad news, uh, except for the people that just absolutely cannot have uh, sugar at all, and the people who have to absolutely cut back on the carbs. Um, yeah, if their lives depend on that, yeah, then they, you know, if they want something that has a sweet taste, then they're going to have to go with that. But, you know, people that are drinking something that, or ingesting something that they already expect to have sugar in it, and does have sugar or corn syrup in it, uh, they shouldn't expect to get all this garbage in it. Um, I remember a couple years ago, the Dairy Association was trying to push forth this, trying to get people to, trying to get politicians to endorse this idea that that companies should be able to make dairy, the products with that contain dairy, that um, have artificial sweeteners in them, that they don't have to actually list the artificial sweeteners. Um... I don't know, it's just disturbing to me. I, I find it odd that it, it just almost seems like these artificial sweeteners are going to be cheaper than the corn syrups or the sugars. I mean, they already did the corn syrup because it was cheaper than the sugar, but now the artificial sweeteners are cheaper to produce than the, than the real sweeteners? That's disturbing. Um, they, they can't say that it's for health reasons or they wouldn't have both in them. So, yeah, keep reading your ingredients on all the things that you buy. You might think that, oh, they'd never do that. Well, you never know. Just keep reading those ingredient lists. Know what it is that you're looking at. Research what you buy. Research what you ingest.